Hello team, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. So very exciting and huge news uh, today coming from um, the military, specifically the British Army. Well, it's news from this week. Uh, I wanted to get this out earlier, but I was busy, but we're going to talk about it. It's about the All Arms Pre-Parachute Selection Course. Okay, it's a very arduous course within the British Army. It's one of the toughest courses within the British Army and around the world um, that soldiers have to go through to earn the converted uh, maroon beret. So that's the one you'll see mainly with paratroopers of the parachute regiment, um, but anyone who else is attached to 16 Air Assault Brigade. So like myself, soldiers in 7th Parachute Regiment, Royal Horse Artillery, 216, um, 16 Medical Regiment, you've got the Royal Engineers, anyone who's attached wears the Maroon Beret. And this huge news is that a female soldier, so an enlist enlisted private soldier female, has passed the course for the first time. So the first woman, Captain Rosie Wilde, passed back in 2020 um, and she was in 7th Parachute Regiment Raw Horse Artillery, but she was an officer, a captain. Okay, and it was outstanding that a woman passed back then. She broke it, no one had ever passed, okay? But this is the first time a female private soldier, okay? Private Carter is her name, she's 21 years old. And it's the first time a female has ever passed and the parachute regiment has been around since World War II. It's absolutely huge news, um, very exciting. It's, it's, it's definitely gonna change it forever. Uh, when I was younger, I'm not gonna lie, you never thought a woman would pass. Um, it's bad to say, very sexist, sort of the mentality around it. But it's great to see that it's changed um, and that a young, young woman, um, a female soldier, has gone and passed. And there's a number of reasons of why this is good. Is to, you know, all that equality, diversity. We know the instructors wouldn't have lowered the standards, especially around P Company, that she's generally passed. Um, and that, that's great news. But it also makes her more combat effective and it makes her unit more combat effective. She's part of the Army Medical Services, specifically 16 Med Reg um, within 16 Air Assault in Colchester. And what you see is a lot of soldiers, everyone wears the Maroon Berry. Um, everyone in the parachute regiment has to earn it. Um, pretty much majority um, of seven do, um, but there's still some people that don't. Um, same with 216, 16 Med Reg and Royal Engineers. And my personal opinion has always been is that everyone should earn the right like it used to be. If you didn't pass P Company, you should wear a blue or a green beret, depending on what sort of unit you're from. Um, and then if you pass P Company, you get to Wedding Room Beret. And then, you know, you're lucky enough to then go on your British Parachute um, Jumps course, which is what she's going to do now, which is absolutely awesome. But they don't do that. So then you've got p people in 15, uh, 16 Air Assault Brigade that aren't fully combat ready, fully operationally effective um, to basically support the parachute regiment, because that's what they're all there for. Okay, if one supports the parachute regiment so they can get the job done that's needed. Okay, but she's going to be able to go on, get her wings, um, and she's going to be able to be, I, I believe she's a combat medic, and she's going to be able to attach herself to two or three para, um, and when they jump in, she's going to be able to jump in with them, which is absolutely exciting news for her, um, and for the whole of the British Army, because I was reading an article where it said she's now gone back to unit and it's built more confidence um, for other females within the unit, which I totally understand. When I was back in 16 Brigade, honestly, it was like no female is ever going to pass. There was a few females that had attempted um, and wanted to, um, but I just don't think they had the confidence to go on the course. And it's all good seeing Captain Rosie Wilde, absolutely outstanding first woman to do it, which obviously allowed a couple more females to go on. But to see someone within your rank, okay, a private, your age, um, someone you work very closely with, you live in the block with uh, to pass, it's definitely going to build a lot more confidence for these other females, these other private soldiers, even maybe a, junior, a few junior NCOs, Lance Corporals, Corporals, and you maybe even see, start seeing some like female seniors, okay, sergeants, staff sergeants, um, attending and attempting the course again. It's a very arduous course for those people that don't know. There's eight tests that you have to do. Um, so for the parachute regiment, it's actually sort of a bit of a week off because their phase one um, training is so hard. They then go away for a week and they do the eight tests. Um, so you've got, you know, the 10 miler, trinasium, um, two miler, milling, 20 miler stretcher race um, and the log race um, and, and your run. So they're the tests that they have to do. 
and then for said so steeplechase um, and then for sort of like attached arms so you um, and your all arms so artillery engineers they go and do the all arms pre-parachute selection course we normally do some sort of pre-para which is around two to three weeks long you'll do a regimental beat up before that you then go up to Catterick you do like two weeks more beat up and then you do the test so it's slightly different very very physically and mentally demanding so absolutely outstanding news but I wanted to get it out there a female soldier has pretty much done the impossible of what when I was younger and joined the army and people well before me you know it was females never going to pass Captain Rosie Wilde has gone and done it in 2020 and then Private Carter, 21 years old, Private, um, in 16 Medreg, has absolutely gone and done it. So uh, congratulations to her. Hopefully, like I said, it's going to spur on um, a few more females. Like I said, this is very, very important. Um, you need to earn the right to wear that maroon beret in my eyes. Um, I think that's the way it should be. It is how it is within the Marines um, and, you know, Army Commandos. You have to earn the right to wear the green beret. The parachute regiment have to earn the right to wear the maroon berry. So I think everyone needs to do that. But it's also operational effectiveness. I know 16 air assault is air assault. So that could be coming in by heli, chinook, um, fast roping in. But the main bulk of the job and what they're known for is jumping in under parachute, okay, under a canopy. So the more people you have within that brigade that do it, can do that, you know the better um, and more operationally effective you are because you know it also allows you to attach a more variety of people to two and three para because you know there's only a limited number of um not limited number but there's a smaller number of sort of like you know para trained combat medics but if they were all para trained they could all attach themselves to two and three para um you know and get get on the herc uh, and jump in with them so that's the news uh we'll bring you some more news soon very exciting and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Dear mama, something's wrong. It's cold for a summer night. I feel there's something far beyond what